Juventus concealed in its financial statements obligations under agreements with other clubs, La Gazzetta dello Sport reports, Prisma has revealed the facts of the cooperation of Turin with Atlanta, Sassuolo, Colliery, Udinese, Bologna, Sampdoria and Schaun, the Turin Economic Police. During a preliminary investigation of Juventus accounts from 2019 to 2021, found the presence of debts to Sassuolo and Atlanta in the amount of 8 million euros, the investigation also has documents dated 2020, which were signed by Fabio Paradisi and Luca Percassi, representatives, respectively. Of Juventus and Atlanta, according to Calcio e Finanza, fictitious capital gains under agreements with other clubs could reach 33 million euros in 2019. The president of the Spanish La Liga, Javier Tebas, reacted to the harsh reaction of Barcelona over his allegedly false evidence against two former Barcelona presidents, Josep Maria Bartomeu and Sandro Rosal, earlier, Diario Sport, citing La Vanguardia. Reported that Tebas had sent a letter to the prosecutor accusing two former Barcelona presidents, however, it turned out that this document related to another case, about the misuse of funds by the Royal Spanish Football Federation. Tebas correlated the names appearing in the document with the ex-presidents of Barcelona and the payments to José María Henríquez Negrera, Barcelona, in response, demanded a public apology from Tebas, as well as his resignation. Former Manchester United and Aberdeen coach Alex Ferguson will receive a medal for winning the 1982-1983 UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, this is reported by the BBC, Scottish Aberdeen, led by Ferguson beat Real Madrid in the 1983 Cup Winners' Cup final, the main time of the match ended with the score 1-1. And in extra time John Hewitt brought the Scottish club victory, medals for winning the tournament were awarded to 11 players of the starting lineup, as well as 5 reserve players, but in honour of the 40th anniversary of that match, UEFA decided to award the Aberdeen coach. Ferguson's assistant Archie Knox and midfielder Dougie Bell, who missed the finals due to injury, will also receive a medal, in total, Ferguson has won 49 trophies as a coach during his career. The management of Chelsea in London is considering at least five candidates to replace Graham Potter, according to The Telegraph, the favourite for the post of head coach is Julian Nagelsmann, who worked with Chelsea technical director Lawrence Stewart at Leipzig. Earlier it was reported that Nagelsmann will take a break after being fired from Bayern and will not return to coaching until the end of the season, However, Chelsea intends to persuade the German specialist to lead the team as soon as possible. It is noted that Nagelsmann's dismissal from Bayern did not affect Chelsea's decision to part with Graham Potter. Alternative candidates include Mauricio Pochettino and Luis Enrique. The management of the London club also plans to hold talks with Napoli coach Luciano Spalletti and Eintracht coach Oliver Glasner. The decision on the appointment of a new coach will be made by athletic director Paul Winstanley and technical director Lawrence Stewart, after that. The Chelsea managers will analyze the approach of each of the candidates to decide which of them is best suited to the club. Roma head coach Jose Mourinho has spoken about his future at the Rome club, I don't talk about my future with friends or journalists, our CEO Berardi said a few months ago that I was staying but this is his vision, and the same applies to journalist Ivan Zazzaroni. From the point of view of contracts, I still have a year left, but contracts are sometimes not the most important thing, Football Italia quotes Mourinho as saying. Manchester City midfielder Bernardo Silva said that the citizens will fight to the end with London Arsenal for the championship in the Premier League, Arsenal can win the Premier League, but we will fight to the end, there's a double-edged sword here some people say. They're more experienced, and others, oh, they won last season, they don't want to win anymore. It's up to you, the same can be said about Arsenal, one day they don't have enough experience to win, but the next they will be told about them, oh, they are very hungry for victories. Because they have never won. We will fight, they are very good and deserve a place at the top, the match against Arsenal will be very important, but we have other important games, if we lose points earlier. It won't matter what happens in the meeting with them, the Manchester Evening News quotes Silva as saying. The defender of Bayern Munich and the French national team, Benjamin Pavard, 
spoke about the decision of the head coach of the national team, Didier Deschamps, to use a player on the right flank of defense, the footballer said that he accepts a similar decision of the mentor. I understand Deschamps' choice, I've always respected them, for that matter, they do not refuse the French national team, I'm here for the team, if the coach decides to put me as a right, back, I will do my best, Telefoot quoted Paver as saying on Twitter. Earlier it became known that one of the reasons for Paver's dissatisfaction with the situation at Bayern was playing in the position of a right, not a central defender. Portuguese midfielder of the French PSG Danilo Pereira spoke about the defeat by Lyon in the match of the 29th round of Ligue 1, 0-1 saying that the Parisians did not show proper respect for their club and did not give themselves completely, we don't respect the club. We don't give ourselves completely, if we don't give our all in home matches, it will be difficult to win the championship, we are going through a difficult stage, we need to wake up because our opponents are only six points behind us, we need to change a lot. But it's not my business to talk about it, Journalist Adrian Grainier quotes Pereira on Twitter with reference to Prime Video Sport France. Milan striker Rafael Lowe shared his emotions from the crushing victory over Napoli in the match of the 28th round of the Italian Serie A, 4-0, summing up the game and admitting that he swapped t-shirts with Georgian Neapolitan striker Vich Kveritskilia, as he is his fan. We heard too many words that gave us extra motivation and energy, celebration, I like to answer on the field, I've had two hard months, but now I've found myself, I swapped t-shirts with Kveritskilia, I am a big fan of him. We are similar, journalist Nicolo Skira quotes Lowe in his Twitter with reference to DeZone, in the match with Napoli, Lowe became the author of the scoring double, the Portuguese's first goal scored was victorious. The French midfielder of Juventus Turin, Adrian Rabiot, spoke about a possible return to PSG after the end of the current season saying that he is focused on the end of the season with the old signora return to PSG, honestly, there's nothing to talk about. I have heard a lot of rumors about this, I know that many people are interested in it, but I repeat once again, I am really focused on the end of the season with Juventus, Telefoot quoted Rabio as saying, 27 year, old Rabiot is a PSG graduate. The midfielder played for the French team from 2012 to 2019, the footballer moved to Juventus as a free agent, Rabiot's contract with Torino is valid until the end of the current season. Manchester United head coach Eric Ten Hag commented on the defeat in the away match of the 29th round of the English Premier League with Newcastle, 0-2, I think the Newcastle players deserved this win, they were more determined, they had more passion and desire to score a goal. We had opportunities, but we didn't use them, David De Gea made one great save, they often played through the flanks and we tried to stop them before they reached the last third of the pitch, we didn't always succeed, does participation in cup tournaments affect our form, no. We treat every game the same, you have to understand that every game is important, every tournament is important, we know how hard it is to come here, and I know that they wanted revenge, for the defeat in the final of the English League Cup, you have to show the same passion. Desire and determination as the opponent, we didn't do it and were punished for it, I am sure the team will react correctly, this is what we have shown throughout the season so far, the BBC quoted Ten Haga as saying.